a really interesting one. Rustam Ampar taking on Jack Mueller. And as we said before, Rustam, a, a late replacement for, for Mueller, who was supposed to be wrestling Vito Arujao. And um, I don't, you know, I haven't seen, I've seen him wrestle, but not a lot. Well, what you're going to be looking at is two very quintessential styles of wrestling. Very much, Rustam is a Russian wrestler. He is the typical European style. Low you to sleep, low you to sleep, low you to sleep, throw you on your head. Now you're talking about Jack Mueller. This dude is as U.S. as it gets. This guy has a motor, he can hand fight, and he is mean. Yes. Just so we know, uh, Rustam's red and Jack Mueller. Mueller's blue. Mm -hmm. Rustam takes ground. Has Jack to the edge already. He might be looking for a push out. No, he snaps it forward, and he's going to take Mueller out of bounds. Let me tell you something. As we were get, uh, getting warmed up and, and getting promotional footage for the July 25th card, Rustam Ampar came to a club in Jersey and worked out with Vito. And, well, Vito didn't get many takedowns <laughs> there, bud. Um, so be at least one. When, two yeah, on the takedown. That's take two. And so when Jack Mueller heard that Vito was out, he thought maybe might get a downgrade in an opponent. That was not the case. It was an upgrade. He lives up there in Ithaca, does. Rustam, spends a lot of time. Yeah. And now he's circling, heading the whole front headlock. And Vito's father in the corner, Vogar, next to Mike Gray. And he just looks like he's horsing him around. I mean, Mueller's a freaking talented wrestler. And There's a lot of technique in there, too, man. Yeah. There, the, he is completely isolating small parts of the body. And when you do that, you can take the strongest wrestler and make him look, you know, like he's not nearly as strong as he is. And Back up to the feet. You see in the background that Kendall Cross and Valentin Kalika in the corner for Jack Mueller, who trains here at the NYC RTC. 5 nothing midway through the first. That's a position that he absolutely does not want to be in. Rusty has an incredible slide by with his left hand there on from the elbow. Overwhelming him, overwhelming him with the hand fight. And Mueller gets to the head pinch, but he steps out of bounds first. So that's going to be one more 6 nothing. 124 left. I'd be very surprised if you don't see him at least attempt that. that if he keeps on going heavy on that right hand collar, Rusty's probably going to go elbow control slide by. Now, one thing I would worry about if I was on par in the guys from Ithaca is what kind of gas tank does this guy have? He hasn't, he hasn't competed at a high level in a couple years, so it's like, man, you don't know. I mean, maybe the idea here for Mueller is just kind of weather the storm, get to the second period, and then start exploding on him. Could be. we got a minute to go till we get there, but Rustam slowed down a little bit for sure. And Mueller's just moving around. Not taking attempts, but keep staying active. That type of, right there, look at that position right there. So you, what you're seeing is that hand fight is starting to wear on the lower back of Ampar now. Watch that left hand elbow. Takes Similar. a shot, he's gonna cut it back. No, nope, maybe he should come out the back door. Mueller, Mueller's draped over the top, has the ankles. They're telling him to push the knees back. I don't know if that's a great idea. Great wrestling there by Mueller. Now, if he can get both knees behind that foot, he might be in business. Got the foot in the air. Eight seconds, short time. Oh, wow. That is impressive crushed. feet there. That's some impressive balance there, dude. He just had his foot over his head, didn't panic, <laughs> He's grabbed the hands, and took his foot back from him. Holy smokes. Okay, yeah, maybe he's a little gassed over. I don't know if you guys can pan over to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, folks. Founder, one of the founders of uh, Beat the Streets, Mike Novogratz, will be joining us on the broadcast here right after this match. First back route to the center. Ampar meets him 6 nothing. 
Rustam with the lead, but as Mike mentioned before, we'll find out what kind of shape he's in here in the second. He's starting to lunge a little bit. And he's maybe looking for a step out. It was close. It was close. One of the best officials in the world out there on the mat, Sammy Julian. Now double unders. I'm parking throw. He yeah. threw, him. threw Dan Dennis, right? Yeah, they threw each other, but yeah, he threw Dan Dennis for sure. Dan hit him with a wrap leg, didn't he? Yep. That was also at the end of the game. Yes. Beautiful Kresnayar's rushing. There's that single leg. And he's tired. Yeah, he's hurting Mueller, right now. Mueller wrestling hard here, looking to get one, and he oh, lost the leg, got back to it, but look at this position that it created. He's gonna have to get height here soon, otherwise he's gonna get rolled through. Mueller? Yeah, Mueller's gotta get height there, yep. And he does. Oof. And yeah. he's gonna take him. No bueno. Two more. Eight nothing. And again, I, I don't know, Mueller maybe. There's two. There's he's got to watch. Two and two. Two and two, two yeah. yeah. I'll take that. So if you're Rustam, you, you go for the turn. Oh, yeah, you got to. Or are you afraid that's going to gas your arms out? Yeah, gas I don't your arms know. And lungs. Yeah, I don't know. I would go for the turn. He slipped on it. It's tough, but so yeah, I, you got to go gut there. 95 seconds to go. Eight point lead for Ampar. So you're, you're, you're seeing Vogar talk to Rustam about hitting that swing single again. One of the things that I think particularly the Russians do a little bit better than us is they change levels on leg attacks just a little bit faster than we do. They can go from the penthouse to the basement a little bit quicker. And Mueller back in on that leg again. He's got go a to minute. step out. He's got a minute, and don't you think that he can't rattle off some points because the guy's pretty good on top, too. Yeah, last time it was near the edge. This time he's got in on that leg in the center of the mat. He he's have, got room to finish. Yeah, he doesn't have a good lock on it yet. If he can get above the knee with his left hand. He grabs a oh, he's got it. Toes. He's got that second foot. He lost it. Now he brings it up to the feet in good position. Swing and a miss. Oh, <laughs> and they land over it's by just, the edge. He's just, he's just so close, and, and every time he gets close to that edge or close to taking him down, it's kind of get, that's got to be frustrating as hell. Yeah. See, Mueller takes ground again. And he does, pushing him around a little bit, at least back him to the edge. Maybe that's a tactic, so if Casey gets in, Rusev sure. can go out of bounds instead of. Sure, that's wrestling, bub. Good, good defense here so far. Was kind of into the splits, now comes back to a wizard. Shallow overhook up in that armpit on the tricep. The longer this goes, the better it is for Ampar, and not just because of the. Not just because of the clock running out, but also because when they take longer to finish, it's just going to take it out of you too. So yeah, and there's going to be a takedown. So he cuts it close, but with five seconds to go, I don't think there's going to be any change after this. So Rustam Ampar will be your winner. Final score: ten to six. Front loaded it there a little bit. Mueller mounted a little comeback at the end, but this one is over. So we are halfway through the card. Yeah. So just like this. And we're going to we do a gonna quick break, and then we'll, we're going to kick it with Mike Novogratz.